Good. All right. Okay, Quay, now what I'm going to do is show you how the money works. Um, and if that's okay with you, I want to put you in the position of a business owner so you can see how everything plays out. Yeah, right? And what this would look like is you have your very own shop.com, right? Backslash Quay. With this, you have your own piece of internet real estate where right off the bat, you have partnerships with Google and Microsoft. Okay, powering your website, keeping it live 24 seven. Over 3000 exclusively branded products uh, like the isotonics and the mocha tonics that you're, you're enjoying right now. And then also the uh, 4,000 plus partner stores of brands that people already know, like Home Depot, right? Nike, Victoria's Secret, Target, all offering cash back through your website between two to 50%, right? So this is all you get, basically like an Amazon in a box, okay? Uh, and now your focus as a business owner is simply just to get customers, right? That's all we have to do. And let's pretend like you know, you know, you know Demetria, right? Mm -hmm. And Demetria, she's you know getting in the gym, and let's say she wants to get a, a new pair of Nikes for a hundred bucks, a hundred dollars, okay? Instead of going to King of Prussia Mall, where she's going to go into the Foot Locker or wherever, spend a hundred dollars, get a pair of shoes, get a receipt, and you know if she's lucky, she'll get have a nice day, right? If it's in a good area, okay? Now, now, it's, let's say she knows you and you have your own business, you're partnered with Nike, you can easily say, hey D, I'm partnered with Nike, I can save you 4% on that exact same pair of shoes. Now she can get the same exact pair of shoes from you at a cheaper price, she's happy, then you care as a business owner because from that one transaction, you're gonna be generating 15% IBV commissions, right? And IBV, it stands for Internet Business Volume, it's attached to all of our um, partner store products, meaning every time, and you have, a, you have an IBB bank, right? Um, an IBB bank connected to your business, and every time customers come and shop, uh, purchase uh, any of the 4,000 partner stores, IBB points are generated and they go right into your IBB bank, and when they add to a certain amount, you cut a check. Okay. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. That's, okay, great. Um, in addition to this, you're gonna earn uh, 0.5% cash back referral. Basically meaning um, when you refer D as a customer, every dollar she spends through your website, you're gonna earn 0.5% cash back from for the rest of your life, okay? Now, you know, I know you're definitely a numbers person, you know, very analytical. You might be wondering, okay, well, where's all this money for cash back and IBB really coming from? Well, here's how it works. I mean, it all has to do with advertising. And how does Nike typically advertise? Okay. What else? Athletes. Athletes. Uh, Commercials, right? All kinds of things, right? Mm -hmm. The thing is that none of those weight forms of advertising actually guarantee Nike sales like 100% of the time. For example, my father, he's Vietnamese immigrant. If he saw an advertisement for LeBron James, he will never go and spend $200 on LeBron's shoes. It's just, it's never gonna happen. I don't know if your parents are the same. Right? So we could argue that Nike is wasting advertising money on our parents. But if you think about this, right, Nike, every year they spend billions of dollars like throwing money against a wall in advertising, hoping that it sticks. But what did you just do here for Nike? Oh, guaranteed them a sale? Exactly. You just got them a sale. And what Nike would rather do is wait till you guarantee them sales and then pay your business a smaller advertising fee. The way this would look is the Nike would give your business fifteen dollars. From that fifteen, right, four dollars will go to D in the form of cash back, and then eleven dollars left over goes to pay your IBV, your half percent, and then Shop.com gets paid as well. So if you if you take a step back, it's the perfect picture. Nike wins, you know, uh, D's happy, Shop.com is happy, and you're happy because you're getting paid. Okay, and this is with uh, partner stores, with exclusive products works pretty similarly. Let's say that D knows um, you know, Sema, right? And Sema loves isotonics. She's really into health and nutrition. You know, I was looking for a high quality vitamin line. She's willing to, to try the product and she wants to get $100 worth of isotonics. Because this is exclusive, she can't go to GNC. She has to go through you. You have the ability to offer more cash back, upwards of 20%, right? 
Um, but now you're happy because you're you're going to be generating 85% BV commission. Okay, and BV just like IBV, you have a separate BV bank connected to your business. It stands for business volume, and it's associated with all the exclusive products. And every time customers come through your business and purchase any exclusive products, BV points are generated. They go right into your BV bank, and when they add up to a certain threshold, you cut another commission check. Okay, same, just works just like IBV. You get the same 0.5% cashback referral. However, in addition to that, you're going to generate anywhere from 30 to 100% retail profit in addition to that only with the exclusive products are you, are you familiar with retail profit at all not really. okay it's okay but this this dunkin donuts we're in right now that that coffee you're drinking costs you about three dollars but dunkin donuts can make it for 15 cents and they sell it for three dollars that's roughly a two dollars and 85 percent margin which is just direct profit into dunkin donuts cash registers okay right with exclusive products, you can, as a business owner, you can purchase them at a wholesale price and then sell them at a retail price and collect the difference in between is just direct cash flow into your pocket, allowing you to make instant cash flows in addition to the half percent and 85% BV. Wow. Right? So, I know I'm going kind of fast. Was everything making sense so far? Yes. Yeah, okay. Awesome. okay. Awesome. Great. Great. Well, Quay, I want to ask you, if you're running a business like this, how many customers do you think you could get coming through on a monthly basis? 200 okay yeah not bad okay um how about that over like maybe six months to a year's time how many customers do you, you think you could get maybe a little more maybe 300 350 yeah 300 okay all right great well here's the thing quite even though that's a good amount of customers eventually you're going to cap out on what you can do and then you're going to hit the right crock effect Okay. Um, and I don't know if you're familiar with who he was, but he founded the McDonald's franchise and he found that he had, he had the first McDonald's in California. It was really successful. He had a lot of customers, but he realized that he was capped out to the immediate area of customers in, in Southern California and people in Philadelphia will never fly to California for a Big Mac. As delicious as it is, it's not going to happen. So what Ray Kroc realized is, okay, and if I want to get more customers, I can just open up a McDonald's in Philadelphia, and now I can expand my customer base. So that's what he did. But the second problem is that he couldn't be in two locations at the same time. So what did he do next? Is he said, okay, Quay, I'll sell you the McDonald's in Philadelphia. You can own it, but then just pay Ray Kroc a 10% royalty fee for him selling you the system. And that's how he created franchising. And just like franchising in our business, it, the only way for you to expand your customer base is by working with other business partners. And in our business, the most you would want to expand with is just two good business partners, right? Um, so let's say uh, you know Mary, okay? And you also know uh, Becky, right? Two hardworking people, very knowledgeable, and you give them the opportunity, you teach them how to own their own shop.com franchise. Now here's the cool thing is that they're gonna have the exact same website, all the same products. Only difference is that let's say Mary, she's living in uh, you know Florida and then Becky lives in New York, you're here in Philadelphia. They have a completely different customer base than you have. And Mary, she's you know doing incredible with the TLS, the, the fitness line, and she's able to generate 5,000 BV from her customers and then uh, Becky, she works with cosmetics. She has a huge network and she does a little bit better. And generates generates 6,000 BB. Now, you know, how, because you gave them the opportunity, it's fair to say you're, you're going to get a percentage of that volume. How much of that volume do you think would be fair for you to get in terms of percentage wise? Because the average in industry is about 10 to 13%. Okay, um, let me say 10. 10%? Mm -hmm. Okay, that'd definitely be good. If I told you you could get more, would you take it, like 25%? Of course. Okay. Uh, how about 50% would you take it, 50-50? Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Well, here's the thing, um, Quiet, you're not going to get 25% uh, and you're not going to get 50%. Okay. You're, the percentage of volume you're actually going to take from Becky and Mary is actually 100%. Oh. Okay. You take everything. But here's the thing, because I, I see that look on your face, you know, your eyebrows are going up. 
um, stay with me.